in the form of cellulose note or plastic currency. It is the youth. And I wish that in future, this young generation, they become highly skilled so that they can compete on international global platform and they should be exchanged just like today's powerful currency, US dollar. So here, uh, my lecture will start on environment and climate change. Actually, climate is, uh, uh, we can say, for long duration of time, the changes in the uh, environment. And when I am talking of environment, why this environment concern has become very important today? Because our survival is in danger. The reason is uh, due to a uh, lot of changes, global warming, chlorofluoro compounds in the space, the, uh, the depletion of ozone layer, all these factors are there. But here I am going to uh, deliver the lecture in a very simple language, one by one, since it is concerning to young youth. It is not any lecture on medicinal chemistry. And here uh, I can recall my memory. I was invited by NNPC, it was in 1992. The same University of Madhubri was, no, it was Lake Chart, we delivered there. And my topic was, I favor global warming. I favor global warming. It was very much shocking to others. I said, why I favor? Because I am in Bondo state. If there is global warming, the phenomenon of global warming means there will be more evaporation of water from sea, there will be formation of more cloud, and there will be formation of more rain. So in this way, some countries will sink, but Nigeria, particularly Borno state, will become Europe because we will be net exporter of lot of food items, fruit, vegetables. So in Borno state, I favor global warming, climate. Climate refers to the long-term average atmospheric conditions in a particular region, including temperature, humidity, cloudiness, wind, uh, then precipitation and other uh, meteorological factors. Then we have to see what are the uh, components of climate. The components are temperature, humidity, then precipitation, uh, dust particle that is called harmattan in the northern part of Nigeria, cloudiness, wind patterns, atmospheric pressure, evaporation and solar radiation. You will be surprised to know that if there is no Sahara desert or we can say Borno State desert, the Brazil Amazon forest cannot survive because from this place, lot of air wind just like aeroplane or rocket carrying lot of ions, sulfate, calcium, potassium ions, and they are flowing up to more than four, five thousand kilometers, and they are settling down in uh, Brazil, Amazon forest. Uh, types of climates, there are tropical, desert, temperate, continental, polar, alpine, oceanic, and especially we are having tropical and temperate climate. climate. Latitude, altitude, ocean currents, land mass, atmospheric circulation patterns, volcanic eruption, and also, which is very important, that is called human activities. Uh, that is greenhouse gas emission. When I am saying greenhouse gas emission, it has broad meaning because during this industrialization, a lot of in millions of tons of nitrate, nitric acid, such type of gases are escaping in the air and it is causing a lot of riots on society. Extreme weather events. So recently, in the first week of September, we noticed first time in uh, Borno State, Maiduguri, such a flood, chronic. And thousands of the people, they lost their livelihood, their houses, and they became themselves uh, just like partner without any home and food. Then water scarcity and changes in uh, precipitation, 
pattern. Actually, water scarcity is a serious issue in uh, Nigeria, particularly in northern part. And even I suggested several times the permanent solution is desalination plant. In, like in Saudi Arabia, Middle East, uh, they are desert, but they have desalination plant, means that plant will just filter off all the uh, impure salts, metallic salts, and pure water will be flowing. Uh, throughout the Nigeria. But if it is not possible because that is very costly affair, so in that case we should start harvesting the water. We should construct such type of houses where all the rain water is filtered, we can put our own filter and it is stored in millions of tons underground and it will be enough for six or seven months. The impact on agriculture, food, uh, security and human health. Sometimes there is blessing in disguise because this area is uh, we can say sub-Saharan desert and the, our main crop is maize, millers, different type of millers. And last year, uh, UNO has introduced millet as one of the super food because it contains lot of nutrients, powerful antioxidants. The advantage is that it is free of uh, gluten that mo many people they are allergic uh, because most of the carbohydrates like wheat uh, they contain gluten and many people are allergic. Social and economic consequences, health impacts, heat, stress, uh, respiratory issues. If I say heat stress, let me tell you, your mother is stressed and because of that, there will be inflammation. And once you have body inflammation, your immune system will be compromised and you can get very quickly any type of bacterial or uh, viral infection. Societal responses to climate change, society, what is the response of society, uh, renewable energy transition. I wrote last week about the renewable energy source, sun is the biggest supplier of energy on this planet. And I calculated 173 trillion gigabyte solar energy is falling on this earth every day and our consumption every day is just 13 to 14 trillion. So one day fall of solar energy on this planet can take 10 billion population up to 6 to 7 years. If only one day is uh, solar that heat energy that is infrared is stored in any battery and now Elon Musk the champion of all technology, emerging technology. He is very busy with the help of lithium ion battery to construct such type of battery which can store for many years. Of course, now that type of battery is produced in India where we can store up to 25 years. So such uh, type of advancement is going on. Then sustainable land and practices, climate resilience, infrastructure, we have to make such type of infrastructure and then international cooperation and climate uh, governance, then climate security, food security, climate security, they are all linked to your social insecurity. So climate security refers to the impacts of the climate crisis on peace and security, particularly in fragile and conflict affected settings. I have given the reference of uh, UNDP. 2023 and 2018. Then climate change and uh, food, water and livelihood insecurity, which is we are experiencing today, you know. Uh, today, the costliest item in Nigeria is food. So seriously, we are facing food insecurity and then in setting where conflict already exists and lot of conflict, it is high time. It is very countries must introduce as a compulsory subject of environmental education science, not environmental. No, that is advanced in university. I am talking of understanding the importance of their surrounding, the importance of plant, importance of animal, ecosystem, water, everything. And for kind information, I mentioned this thing to uh, Abdul Hamid Tahir. And even I sent some portion to CEO.
I have written the full book on education, that is environmental education for secondary school. I have written the full book how to develop different skills, communication skill, agriculture skill, green skill, blue skill. This year there is minister of uh, blue economy. Blue economy means to see ocean, how to explore. So at secondary level they should understand. So I have written three books. Is the platform where I am telling, please go and sell everywhere in whole Africa. Book is ready for introducing the environmental education at secondary level, artificial intelligence at secondary level, very basic concept. Why we went for artificial intelligence? We had natural intelligence. What is need for that? Because natural intelligence, we have limited billions of trillions of data. But artificial is 10,000, 20,000 times faster than us, and their data is unlimited. Thousands of trillions, they are more smart. That is the main thing. So all these things I have already written is with me. Let invite UNESCO group to finance and print hundreds of billions and distribute not only in Nigeria, to whole of the Africa. And also, you know, has mentioned this year that by 2024, I mean 25, make sure that all the nations environmental education subject in secondary school. Cambodia, UK, they have already introduced uh, environmental education. I'm just trying, uh, because I'm limited, you know, otherwise I have that such type of, uh, we can say, lecturing that I can continue for two hours. So please, I'm going to summarize it. I have given you all the uh, explanation and here you can get the soft electronic copy from me and all the technologies I have already mentioned here. Now I will just mention some little thing. All the photos are there and everything it is that I want green infrastructure we should develop because of shortage of time for the community for environmental education I have already uh, given and please in conclusion, and uh, here let me uh, mention one more thing uh, that is to uh, report about the environment, how to introduce there. So in conclusion, uh, in conclusion, creating a safe environment and effective climate security solution for Nigeria is essential for the nation. I invest in uh, education is two people. One is Dr. Sana Khan, consultant, physician, at New York Hospital. She is the product of University of Medhuburi. And, and she is my daughter. And she is having Islamic dress. She is consultant. She is teaching to American MBBS and MDs and trading them. So that honor goes to University of Medhuburi. Again, one, my son is also there. In, New York City. If I am talking of New York, there is a big difference. New York is, though 99% people they are in New York state, like uh, that one, Fall, Niagara Falls, or Buffalo City. And New York City means very close to Manhattan or Times Square. So I am thankful to her. And then James Sapu, one of my students in the Department of Chemistry, is very good in editing. So thank you for the attention. And please, Excuse me because maybe I have taken some little more time. Next time, if I am coming, give me at least two hours time. <laughs> so with all, uh, with all humility, with all humility, thank you very much for listening my lecture. Allah's blessing to all of you. Thank you very much.